welcome to Big Sister. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday or about to. Some of you probably at home with family and all of that. Be safe out there. So guys, I want to talk about this and we're going to call it gaslighting is real. Gaslighting is real. And you know, for a while I didn't know anything about narcissism and gaslighting and flying monkeys and sociopaths and psychopaths. I, I had no idea. And over time, especially with COVID, you know, we had all this time in the house. So I believe that's when YouTube really blew up because for me with YouTube, I only would come on YouTube. Like I registered with YouTube like years ago, but I would only get on there occasionally to listen to like Soka and all of that. But with COVID, I'm going to say YouTube really launched. So during that time, you know, that's when all these videos were coming up about narcissism and narcissists. And you're like, okay. So check that out. And this gaslighting, guys. So gaslighting is basically when someone challenges your reality. That's what it is. It's basically the person does stuff. And then when you talk about it, they make it seem as if it did not happen that way. Now, this is very different from having a genuine misunderstanding of something, having a genuine misunderstanding of a conversation or how it went. No, they literally are challenging your reality to make you think that or to feel like you're crazy or what happened did not happen. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example. Guys, there are individuals that would... Oh my gosh, I'm trying to say this without saying too much, but let's put it like this. Imagine someone breaks up with you. This is not the situation, but this is the best example that I can give you close to, you know, what I experienced, okay? It's not a breakup. So imagine someone declares that it's over, they don't want to be in the relationship anymore, whatever, okay? So let's say you're in a relationship with a person and you are like trying to find out there's some things that's happened in the relationship and you're trying to get to the bottom of it and you're asking questions hey what's going on here uh why did this happen the person is denying 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 right but to take it a step further because they realize they're not going to get away with whatever they're doing they're going to say to you well it's over it's done we're finished this relationship is over i don't want to be in this relationship anymore and they just leave right Okay, so keep in mind, they left. Keep in mind, they made that decision. And let's say you decide, okay, no problem. We're over, it's done. You move on with your life. You're no longer calling them. You're no longer dealing with them. You're no longer reaching out. You no longer have any reason to, to have any interaction with them because your relationship is over, right? Then all of a sudden, months later, years later, or whatever this person just reaches out again and they're acting like they have no idea why you're not in touch with them they have no idea how things ended they're behaving as if they had nothing everything that you're saying if you're saying to them you broke off the relationship you didn't want to be in the relationship anymore because i was asking you some questions about this event this that happened you were did not only denying it, but you decided you wanted it to end. You didn't want to go on any further. This person will then pretend and act as if they never said that. They're going to say, I didn't break up with you. You broke up with me. I didn't leave the relationship. You left the relationship. The whole situation will be turned around as if you just overreacted or you just make it made a decision to end the relationship and they have no idea why you did that and then they go on this tangent about things that you have done and what you did and they'll go back to the past into old stuff that has nothing to do with the present and a lot of times it's all twisted but they'll go back and talk about the time you forgot you forgot to do this or Things that will probably happen in a relationship. Oh, well, you disappointed me here. You didn't do this. You didn't defend me at this time. You didn't do that. You didn't do this. And they do all that and they bring up all these old things. You, You burnt my toast. They'll do all that stuff to deflect from the fact that the reason why we're broken up is because you made that decision. They'll deny it. You see, a lot of times with these type of individuals, when 
they do this stuff it's like they make emotional or impulsive decisions at the time and when you hold them to it they blame you for it so they break up a relationship and you're like okay and you move on they come back oh so that's how it's gonna be if they are the ones that they have the ones that totally destroy relationships and friendships they'll they'll abandon their families and you know just walk out and leave and then come back like what I didn't no you told me to leave I never wanted to leave I never wanted to break up I'm looking right now at this family where this couple has totally just dogged out their family talked about their family I understand things can happen in family some things you can work it out and other things it's like hey you have to keep your distance but at the same time you don't need to wreck your family but these individuals they were going around talking about their families making up things all oh my gosh they were just lying and I can say making up because then it came out that they were lying and then all of a sudden they're like Oh, we want to, you know, we're willing to come home for the holidays if you guys will have us for the holidays. Wait a minute. You spend all this time dogging and wreaking havoc on your family. And all of a sudden, it's on your family. Well, you know, if you want us to come home, we'll come home. And, you know, if not, it's fine. Head games. And guys, if you're not careful, these people will ruin your lives. That is what gaslighting is. Gaslighting is a individuals is when a person they do things and let's say you take a stance whether you have to fire the person whether you have to break off a relationship whether you end up divorcing the person whether you end up not speaking to them anymore you don't invite them to your wedding you take them off the guest list you take them out the group chat you you you're no longer moving in with them you're no longer uh going to do whatever you plan to do these people will spin it and act as if they have no idea why it happened and if you're not careful they're so convincing you will question yourself that's what gaslighting is that didn't happen your abuser could gaslight you hit you and say you hit me first You know you didn't hit them first, but they will say it. You attacked me. You provoked me. You started it. Gaslighters are people that they know that they are abusing their husbands or their wives, and they go around and just go to work and sit in line, tell stories. Oh, well, well, this is where they're manipulating, but they're telling people all kinds of things. They're already setting the stage saying that you're abusing them and you're doing this when you're not. They're the ones doing it. But what they do is they're already planting these seeds. So when they get so if you decide you want to leave or when things come out, they can go around and say, well, I've been talking to the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. They all know that you've been that you've been hitting me. They all know you've been doing this and that. And they were just lying on you. They were actually abuse the abusers. That's why guys, we have to be so careful when people are coming to us and telling us things. Yes, you want to help them guys, but you also need to keep an open mind to realize it may not be true. What you can do is just listen and be like, okay, maybe give them Hey, so maybe you're thinking of going to talk to uh, law to law enforcement, or you're t- thinking of letting someone know. You don't want to tell them what to do. I've learned to not do stuff like that anymore. Oh my gosh, people tell me stuff, and just my 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 mother hen side, or you know, big sister mode will come in, and I want to go to bat for this person. But what I've learned to do is sometimes you cannot do that because people could be telling you half of the story. So what I've learned to do is when I'm talking to individuals is just encourage them, but have open ended advice. How do I put this? Like, so, so what you're saying is you're thinking of going to talk to law enforcement or what you're saying is maybe you're thinking of going to get counseling or you're thinking of leaving. You put that to them. Don't ever sit there and give people advice and you don't know the other side of the story. You can be a support, a listening ear, but you have to be careful because people can be using you. There are people who will literally literally be using us, okay, for sympathy, for us to, to, to stand with them and they're lying. 
I can't tell you how many times I've met people that I've helped and they had this whole big story about, oh, this happened to them and I'm, I'm so sorry and I'm going to help them and everything. And then sometime down the line, something will come up where they don't get their own way and next thing you know, they're going around and telling people things about me. And so all of a sudden, there are people who are standing with them against me based on what they told them. And I'm like, okay, got it. Touche. I learned my lesson. So guys, that's what gaslighting is. And if you're experiencing it, guys, it can be psychologically uh, uh, exhausting. If you're not careful, they can cause you to think that you are crazy. But you're not crazy. You're around a crazy person. You're around someone who has issues and problems, who have spent so much time telling lies that they believe it. As a matter of fact, they don't even believe it, but they want to lie to themselves that this is the truth. Individuals like that, you cannot be around them. And sometimes you got to live with them, right? But do your best to put things into, put things into, uh, what is the word I'm trying to say, guys? You want to start to put things in motion so that you can better yourself. That means you go to school if you're at home right now. Go to school, get your education, finish high school, go to college if you're able to. When you can leave home, give yourself that opportunity. I always say if you can, join the military or go on to a different website. I use USA.gov. These, these websites, guys, can give you jobs that you are overseas if you're single and you have opportunity go to these go take a job where you can have a contract job and work for three years in Italy you can go and work three years in the UK Germany wherever and you get paid benefits and all of that okay or jobs where you can go elsewhere just be out of that state and sometimes you're gonna have to just make that relate make that decision this relationship is not good for me I'm not going to continue this. And it's better, I always say this, guys. It's better to hurt as you heal. It's better to cry while you heal. It's better to go through all of this as you're moving forward and healing than to be stuck in a relationship where you are guaranteed to be crying every day, every other day, once a month, twice a month, or quarterly. People who gaslight are in my in my mindset something is wrong with them something is not only spiritually wrong with them but mentally wrong with these people and what they do is they're giving you an ounce of crazy they're giving you a, a more than an ounce of crazy they're just dumping it on you and then you begin to think something is wrong with you because gaslighting is where a person would try to have you question your reality when you take a stand they turn it around and make it seem like you're doing something to them they are suddenly the victims because you said no because you said enough because you said it's over because you said okay you're leaving no problem because they made declarations to in a way sometimes they do things guys to try to control you to try to bring you to bring you in a lot of times it's not even that they wanted to really break up they wanted to scare you do you know that there are people that will do that they'll make, make threats they'll say these things and you're supposed to say no no please I'll do whatever you want please come back please help me please 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 and when it doesn't work and they see that you've moved on no one's calling them anymore no one's reaching out to them anymore all of a sudden now they're like oh so you're just gonna so this is how it's gonna be absolutely absolutely it can be tough. This will be your greatest challenge yet to deal with these type of individuals. But the key to people who like to gaslight and manipulate is just not to deal with them. Cut them off. Cut them off. Because a lot of times when you're trying to keep people who are willingly divisive in your life, it's going to destroy you. It's different in relationships where the person can see themselves and you can see yourself and you can come to a medium and say, okay, we were wrong or I misunderstood you or I overreacted or I didn't get the full picture and then you guys work on it and say we're going to do better because when you care about someone when you love someone when you are a true friend you're going to do what you need to do to ensure you don't hurt them you don't want to keep hurting them right so you're going to do better 
we're humans, we mess up, but it's not something where it should, should be an, uh, an habitual thing. But when you're with a person who repeatedly hurts you and betrays you and they try to find new ways to deceive and hide and pretend, no, cut it off. That is a cockroach. That is a whole house roach. Get rid of it because what happens with roaches? Roaches, you see one, you know it's coming from a family. Sorry guys, I had a call. When you see one, if you let one in, it's gonna, there's going to be an infestation. And if you really think about it, if you've experienced this sort of a person, you're going to realize that you have been invaded. There, you, there was an infestation. They changed your life. They changed your thinking. They changed your friendships. But guys, yeah, they did wrong, but you have to make decisions for yourself. You have to protect you. And if they're not going to protect you, and if they don't care enough, you need to care enough to say enough already and pull away. All right, guys, I hope this made some sense. Get the counseling that you need. Get the help you need because a lot of times, even when you break up with these individuals, it's important that you go through the layers of why you were in that relationship, perhaps what your weaknesses were, perhaps in areas that you did behave in ways that was not right, even if you were lashing out or getting them back. You have to work through all of that so that you're better for your next relationship, so you're better for your next friendship, so you're better at your next job otherwise guess what if you don't get away from them and deal with that hurt and pain you will become the next person doing the same thing that they did to you does that make sense all right guys peace